Pascal, what do you make of aesthetic cognitivism? So the idea of aesthetic cognitivism, <laughs> which is a bit of a mouthful, is to uh, explore the very special kinds of mental effects um, aesthetic experience can bring about. That at least is the take I, you know, I, I, I have on this. And the idea is that uh, aesthetic experience typically does not give you, obviously, different beliefs or information. You cannot look at a sculpture and sort of verbally express exactly what you have now that you didn't have before. So lots of people have been saying, well, if he doesn't do that, he does nothing. Uh, there's pleasure, and that's it. Um, lots of people are saying, no, it must do more, and there must be some more sort of lasting, important effects on the mind. The thing is that since they're not verbal, they're very difficult to report, and therefore we should explore them in other ways. Now, some people think, well, we should look at what artists have to say about that. Um, it seems to me that that may not be the most profitable way uh, for lots of reasons. One of them is that the fact that you produce something doesn't mean that you have very good intuition on its effects on people. Uh, a second one is that um, artists are not always the most articulate people about their own art. And, um, and we shouldn't sort of um, expect much um, enlightenment from that. However, what we can do is lots of other things. We can do uh, psychology of these things. We can see how uh, human brains, minds react to these uh, things. We can also see to what extent perspectives on things can change. Uh, do people recognize patterns in the world that they didn't before they saw some art? Um, and then we have the sort of further development, which is if you're considering specifically um, people's spiritual, religious notions, can you say that exploring them through art makes a difference? That is, are they different from what they would have been, uh, for example, from purely ex verbal exposure to doctrine? Do you get something different? And if the answer to that is yes, mm -hmm. it does not follow that that validates that religion. It just could say that that emotional impact uh, reinforces some uh, underlying uh, need for religion because of oh, yeah. the emotion. No, of course. I mean, it's completely orthogonal to the question, yeah. is that effect, uh, does that effect get you closer to truth? Yeah. It may. It's may a point of <laughs> yes. <laughs> it, it may uh, get you much further away. <laughs> uh, from truth, who knows? I mean, that's not the, 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 the problem. Well, some people think it is. Some people think that the artistic experience can bring you closer to truth, and that truth has a theological component. Some people think that. I think so, yes. But that's, They may not, very well think, think that. Not in that I do not wish to comment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, if, if you would, if you would uh, look, uh, you know, ten years in the future and uh, see uh, and look back at the uh, aesthetic cognitivism program uh, and and call it a success, what would it ha it will have had to have done? It would show um, to what extent aesthetics goes beyond the aesthetic. To what extent uh, we can shape minds. I, oh, oh, sorry, we can have our minds shaped by particular works and encounter with those works and the process of trying to encounter those works. That would be very rich. Um, it seems to me that as far as spiritual or religious um, concerns uh, go, all we can say it has, it, it, all we can say even in 10 years is that it has some association with it. It facilitates certain things, but I don't think we'll find any specific meaning, aspects of religious belief uh, that would be uniquely encountered through art.